My top tip would be to get up to speed by leveraging a network of folks in the industry attending events like this at the uh, World Safety Congress and making sure that you expose yourself to as much knowledge as possible through the networks that you've established, uh, discussing uh, the, the trends, the, the new regulations, and just connecting those dots with your internal network and external networks. I would say try to learn as much as you can about the, uh, the basics of pharmacovigilance, as much as you can learn about operations, case reporting, as well as the pharmacovigilance aspects, and then try to explore other parts of the industry, uh, the, the folks that you'll be working with in other functions, learn as much as you can about development, regulatory affairs, CMC, because all of those things will come into play in your career. Okay, top tip, I can only use myself in a, as an example. Uh, for me, I was a person, started off a long time ago, that did not want to take a single drug or have anything that goes into my body because I was fearful of side effects. As you know, every drug that is out there in the world has some type of side effect or some type of something that can give you some issues or any problems. So my top tip is that would you give this to your parent? Would you give this to a family member? Would you take this for yourself? So if you are new in this industry or even interested in this industry, this is your opportunity to also make a difference, for you to really embrace this and learn, uh, just like myself, to learn every day how you can take care of a patient and as well as a potential family member. Uh, I think there's a couple of things. There's, uh, I think Michael Richardson was saying in, in the talk earlier that to do drug safety properly is you need to integrate lots of people in the organisation. It's not just about the drug safety physician or pharmacovigilance. It's about the clinical people. It's about marketing and communications people so that you get you, you know, you've got the evidence that you, about your drug, that it's communicated in the right way. And secondly, um, if you need background information on, on what drug safety is all about and, and uh, what you need to do and what, is, you know, what are the hot topics at the moment, there is a book that is about to be published by a colleague um, in, I think, in about December. Um, I, I need to read the name because it's, <laughs> it's called, called Therapeutic Risk Management uh, of Medicines. And that's, uh, it's on Amazon at the moment, but it's, it's due to be published in, in December. And I think that's a good read, it's, it, it covers everything.